Well, we've had four matches so far on court two in this morning session. One last one to go. And that's the big highlight match of this session. The men's singles clash between two seeded players. The number seven seed Kodai Naraoka of Japan up against the number four seed Lee Zijia of Malaysia, who is uh, also the 2021 All England champion. Well, awaiting the winner of that match in the semi finals will be Shi Yu Chi and the likes of Anthony Sinisuka Ginting or Anders Antonsen or Li Shifang, potentially a final opponent. That's what the men's draw looks like. A lot of the big names are gone. And uh, one more will be added to the list of exits at the end of this match. Because uh, it is a seeded matchup between Naroka and Lee. And listen to the crowd. As Lee Zijia makes the courts, he is a popular, popular figure here in Birmingham, former champion. Plays some of his best badminton in this arena. It's a happy hunting ground for Lee. Look at his fantastic history in Birmingham shortly. But uh, in this matchup, it's Naroka who leads their head to head. Just the one meeting that Naroka won, and that was at the Malaysia Open first round. That Naroka won 13, 21, 21, 17, 21, 19. 21 year old Kodai Naroka, the up and coming rising star of badminton in the men's singles category from Aomori, Japan. He's uh, enjoying his best ranking at the moment at number six in the world. He achieved that in January this year and has really come of age in the last year and so. And looking at his road to the quarterfinals, he beat Lu Guangzhou, who retired halfway through that first game. And then a uh, more convincing victory over Kidambi Shrikan, 21-17, 21-15 and 51 minutes. Naroka has found a quarterfinal berth here in his All England debut. For Lee Zijia, he's now 24 years of age from Kadar in Malaysia, ranked number four in the world, but has gone up as high as number two, and that was in October last year. He has a fantastic All England record. Loves playing on the courts of Birmingham. So looking at his road to the quarterfinal, he beat Tamasin of Thailand in straight games, 21-12, 21-15, and then Kenta Nishimoto also in straights, 21-15, 21-10, 40 minutes. And the umpire for this match is Diraj Gunyadri of Mauritius. He's joined by Vicky Hatton of England in the service judges pair. But it is going to be a crowd favorite, this one. Lee Zijia looking to make another semi-final. He has made every semi-final at the All England since he made his debut back in 2020. That was where he really emerged onto the scene. Ready to play. Lost to Victor Axelson in a thrilling semi-final in three games. And then in 2021, he beat Axelson to lift the title. Got to the finals last year as well. Sorry, got to the semis last year as well. Losing out to Lakshya Sen in three games. So. A semi-final stalwart is Lee Zijia here at the Old England. Kodai Naroka will be looking to disrupt that. It's without a coach at the moment, Lee. 
parted ways Ladies and with his uh, on my Indonesian right, coach Lizzie in Rubijaya, not so long Malaysia. ago, and has opted to stay coachless and at the moment. And Japan. And it is for sure that Naraoka will be playing against the crowd in this Lizzie match. Lizzie Jia serves to get this match underway. Play. Trademark smash to get things started. One love. Lizzie Jia. Does hit the shuttle pretty hard, Malaysian. That's one wide. Two, love. Of the Naroka racket. Three. He loves love. to settle in. Lizzie Jia, who's uh, had his best finish of the season now here at Old England. Lost in the second round of the Sub German Sova. Open last week. One. Three. To Li of Chinese Taipei in three games. Hasn't gone past the second round this year. 5-5 five, five win-loss record in 2023 and is looking to correct that. Yep. Bounced on that one. Lee. Sakisova. Slightly looser Four. lift. One. Came in quite easily to the net. You can bet that every single point that he makes will be celebrated loudly by the crowd here at Arena Birmingham. That's gone wide. Called out. Five, Lee left it. One. Smart to do so. the line Six, one. just look at the amount of height he gets on that jump it's 382 kilometers per hour he can generate so much power and angle with his smash is a tall player on top of that it's very hard to play when Sub he hits Sova. those big shots Two. Naroka's got to try and make sure he doesn't give too many openings for the Lee smash to come his way. Oh, well, he's got one or two ideas of Three, his own, hasn't he, Naroka? Six. Attacking that forehand of Lee. So close to his body as well. With Kodai Naroka. Such a persistent player. It's a whole lot of energy. You can keep going for hours. Look at that. Beautiful. Good save as well from Lee, but Naroka on point with Four, those moves. Six. Just taking the shuttle away from Lee. That's when he is 
So dangerous. Look at the fans there's a well-dressed Malaysian fan showing his support. They're proud of their players who come and represent the country here at All England. Six four. Naroka on a three point run. And again, lovely. Movement, great net exchange. There's the smash, but he saves it. That's brilliant play. Service over. Seven, four. Yep. Even though the smash was saved, Lee Zijia had a follow-up plan. Opting for the net shot on that occasion. He can make, mix it up really well. He's an intelligent player. Reads the game very well. Eight, four. Four point gap restored for Lee. Saved by Kodai. Oh, he was lucky there, wasn't he, Lee? Nine. But he took four. his chances and it paid off. Look how tight that net shot was. Naroka had his body at the net, trying to make it. It's a confident play. Slowly but surely, the scoreboard keeps ticking in the favor of Lee. At the moment, Naroka is not able to create many opportunities. Oh, that's a good smash right down the line. So it's all about the positioning of the five, smash ten. on that occasion. Very hard to play and reach even. Quickly. Quick tie of the shoelaces. Can't have that getting in the way when you're playing Lee Zijia. Ten five. Ooh, he left it late. Again, lovely cross net shot. Had the court Service wide over. open 11, for him to put five, the smash away. It was this cross net shot that set him up. And Lee Zijia has taken the 11 5 lead at the mid game break. As you see him talk to Darren Liu there, his sparring partner. Code two, 20 seconds. Code two, 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chairs. Players on court. He 
So quick chat with uh, Darren Liu, who is uh, part of Team Lizzie Jia. Spars with him often, the 11, Malaysian player. Five. Play. And uh, Kodai Naroka has to go back to the drawing board because the first half hasn't quite worked out for him. And this was a so much one. better play from Naroka as he 11. just moved around, keeping the shuttle in play, keeping the rally going, persisting on, which is something we see him do really well against the best players in the world. Just getting everything back in play. It's gone long. Oh. Sabisova, 12, Unfortunately, 6. Misjudged that clear. He's playing with the drift, of course. Beautiful. Just turned around so quickly. Service over. It does. Seven. Twelve. Got an impressive figure, but Naroka taking full advantage of that no look shot from Lee. Right there. out. Savisova, 13, 7. I've got to say, Lee's looking pretty happy with himself at the moment. He's not been troubled too much, not been pushed too hard. Naroka still the one who's doing all the hard work. jump on those smashes from Naroka and Lee still able to play that back. But on the net over. shot. A 30. Wipe the court, please. He struggled the court. that there. Just couldn't get enough height on that net shot. Five point lead for Lee. And he's held on to the lead throughout this first game. Naroka hasn't yet been able to level the score. And that's exactly what he'll be looking to do more of, Lee. Just keep ahead, get closer to the finish line, not lose the advantage he's created. Nicely played. Sabisova, Went for the body. 14, eight. Let's look at that steep angle that he created. Six point lead now. Saved that well. That's been all going Lee's 15, way at the moment. Eight. He held on to that net shot second longer and then made it difficult for Naro Oka to play.
cross-court smash. 16. It's his eight. get out of jail card. When in trouble, go for the smash. It's something that he perfected under Indra Vijaya, his coach. Eight point lead now. What a nice save. And again. It's been 17. Superb to watch Lee Zijia make saves and set it up really well for the winner. He's not putting a foot wrong at the moment. 2021 champion. Another big smash 80. to secure 80. the winner. What the fuck is? It's majestic from Lee Zijia. He's so difficult to play when he's in form and finding his shots quite easily. Look at how he's played this first game. It's all been Lizzie Jia. He's now on a five point run here. That's out. And Naruoka. 19. Eight. Can't afford to make mistakes like that. Just two points away from. Taking the first game. <laughs> and unfortunate with his shot there. He's looking Some for silver. the line. Nine. It's hard to play. Yeah. Bit of reprieve for Naruoka. If you're wondering what all the noise is, it's another very exciting men's doubles match going on on the court next door. Game point nine. It's got the audience enthralled on both courts. So Lee Zijia here with multiple game points. And he does it on the first time of asking. A little too easy at the moment for Lee Zijia. 21-9. 21, He's taken nine. the first game against the number seven seed Kodai Naroka. 18 minutes played. The back on court, Lizzy Jia, ready to get on with it. And why not? He's made an excellent start, taking the first game 21 9. Naroka, a lot more to think about, a lot more to talk to his coach. 
Code 2, 20 seconds. Code 2, because 20 it's seconds. It's been the Lee ZGR show so far in this uh, men's singles quarterfinal. And I'm just looking through uh, Lee ZGR's quarterfinal, and he's played three All England quarterfinals before this. First one in 2020, and he beat Chun Long then in uh, straight Second games. Game. The last two quarterfinals in 2021 and 2022, he would had Japanese opponents, Kento Momota to be exact, on both those quarterfinals, and he beat Momota on both occasions. So he has a good record against Japanese players here at Old England. It's landed in. Beat Momota in straight Love. games in 2021 en route to his Old England title. And in uh, 2022, he was pushed to three by Kenta Momota. Came up with the goods. Two, love. So he'll be feeling pretty confident about his chances here. Smash cross court. This is exactly the response Naruoka would have wanted at the start of the second. He was uh, pretty much taken out in that first game. He needs to create some kind of momentum here. Just out. Puts Lee on the scoreboard. Service over. One. He's got three. Something to look back on when they played in the Malaysia Open. Naroka did lose the first game. Lost at 21 13. But came back in the second and third to secure the win. Service over. Over Four. Lee. One. So, history still favors Naroka, even after a game down. Shot from narrow there. But Lee ready for it. Sabisova. Oozing Two. confidence at Four. the moment is Lee Zijia. Look at that. He takes on the smash and then puts it away neatly. Complete control of the shuttle there. Play. the corner three lazy jia lovely backhand flick so look at that this punches us out the fans certainly enjoying it Leon one point game save that's a much better point from so Naroka aggressive what the port, what the port. What the port. he makes the save and then just gets on top of that shuttle to get the smash get the angle make it hard to return 
Okay, on court now. You can hear a couple of Japan fans as well out there in the crowd. Play. Not necessarily as vocal as the Malaysians. Malaysia supporters. Nice net exchange. Persisting. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was a bit Six. unlucky. For me. You'd have to say for Lee. Looking for the smash. But Naroka was also there, ready and waiting. Quick one, quick. On court down. Three point game, Naroka staying ahead at the moment. Landed in. Apologies, I thought that was out, but it is on the line. Wow. That time. It was well Sub left, Seven, called out. Four. Yep, pushing the shuttle away towards the far corner. It's a risky move when you're playing with the drift. He's challenging it. It's called in. Kodai Naroka and Kodai Naroka has in. decided to challenge the decision. Someone's bought a horn for added dramatic effect to this challenge. It is in by challenge. millimeters. Now that one challenge is remaining. quite the winner. Service over. Five, seven. Just millimeters making the difference. Seven, five. Naroka still Play. holding on to a narrow lead here. Absolutely went for it, narrow so the net. Eight, five. Took what the four? That slightly higher lift of the net and put it away. But look, that does take some skill because it was still quite close to the net cord. Cool. Three point lead restored. Change.
opposite direction. Wide open for so, so Lee Zijia to put away. Six, eight. He was caught out there, Naroka. He's really having to use all his muscle here, Lee. Even sometimes the smashes are coming back at him. What the court is? Service over. What the court? Nine, six. Okay. So good at mixing things up. Has a fabulous variety in his game. And court. Defensively, super strong. Which is a pillar of the Japanese game. And they... Just don't give anything away, Naroka and his teammates. Always stoic in the way they play their matches. Quick exchanges Ten. of the net. Six. And Naroka coming on top of that. Just look at the flat exchanges there. Four point lead. It's probably the biggest of the game so far. And he holds 11, on to six, the lead here at the mid-game break. Kodai Naroka, 11-6 up. It's just been a fantastic turnaround by the Japanese in the second game. And uh, it certainly is game on at the moment. Twenty seconds. Go to twenty seconds. Coach, return to your chairs. Players are caught now. Quickly back in court to restart this uh, second game. Naroka up. 11, 6, six in a much more comfortable play. position as he has to win this game and push for a decider, having dropped the first 9-21. It's called out. A fist bump from... 12, Naroka. Six. Every point counts. How did he save that? That's immense work from both Seven players. Over. Seven. Really 12. is a blink and you'll miss it moment. Oh. 
Sabisova, 13. This is good pressure from Seven. the Japanese. He has uh, kept Lee quiet in the second game. Quite seen that free flowing badminton that we saw in the first from the Malaysian. It's gone long. Sansova, 8, 4, 13. I'm sorry, 8, 13. Change. Thirteen eight in the second. Five points separating the two. And come into push apart in the game. Narrow because taking in those smashes much better now. So absorbing that pressure. 14, and then eight. turns it around into an attack of his own. Just look at that net shot there. <laughs> Comes up with a smash zone. Hey. Change. He's got to generate a fair bit of strength when he plays those bigger smashes, Naroka. He's a precision player normally. But uh, against Lee, he's got to find other ways of approaching this match. And again, 16, injecting eight. pace into the forehand there. A flatter forehand. Yep. Going downwards towards Lee's body. And it's an eight point lead now for the 21 year old. Seventeen, eight. Oh. Suddenly, the momentum has a swung big time. Casual cross court smash from Sanzova, Lee. Sanzova, 9, 17. It's just another day in the office. Oh. Nicely played. Sanzova, Great return. 18, 9. So close to the net with that return. Three points away from taking the second. There's Naroka. That is pinpoint accuracy. Right 19, into the corner. Nine. Look at how he hits that. Just right down into the far corner of the court. Ten point lead. This is a fantastic turnaround by Kodai Naroka. You wouldn't have thought it at the end of the first game. Conserving energy, playing the clears. Certainly taking a lot out of them this match already. And with a third possibly in the near future, they'll have to take it easy. So, nine. multiple, multiple game points here for the number seven seed. A chance to 
sealed the second game by the same score line that Lee did in the first. It's a can you believe it moment? Change of records for Lizzie Jeff. Twenty nine. Will he do it on the first time of asking? That's gone wide. Saves one. Service over. Ten. And Lizzie Jers into the double digits. As a result, oh, how did he put that in? Yeah. Look at that save and how close it was to the net. In the moment of brilliance. From Kodai Naroka, look at that shot. Kodai, so Naroka, close to the net. Drags Lee forward and one game old. It's wide open court for Naroka to put it wherever he wants. So he takes the second game 21 10, Kodai Naroka, and we're into a deciding game in this men's singles quarterfinal. Court 2, 20 seconds. Court 2, 20 seconds. Yes, please wait. So it's uh, an even playing field again. One game each for Lee Zijia and Kodai Naraoka. Between talk between the umpire and the tournament referee. We're waiting for the line judge to take his seat. I believe that was the hold up. Final game. And so, Love ready to start game three now in this uh, Play. men's singles quarter final. Kodai Naraoka will serve, having taken the second game, 21-10. That's gone well wide. <laughs> So, 
easy jab on the scoreboard. Errors creeping into both of their games, but it's early days in this third. Of course, looking to make his fourth successive All England semi final. Amazing record. saw Naroka do a lot more of these plays in the second game where it's pushing Lizzie Jia to clear or lift more. This is go for the smashes or the downward shots, the flatter shots. from Lizzy Jia makes his intentions known there. Pointed the net. Yep. Quick racket work there from Lee. Malaysia have a fantastic men's singles legacy here. The All England Open. Makes a save from around the back. Oh, how do you save that? play from both men just the work rate is immense at the moment Naroka just not being able to go across on that occasion flat forehand finding the net and look at Malaysia's men's singles record in uh, The All England and uh, Eddie Chung, of course, leads the list with four All England titles. Wang Peng Soon, also four men's singles All England titles, and of course, the legend that legend. is Lee Chong Wei with four men's singles titles. looking to follow in those esteemed footsteps. He's got the one. Oh. Looking to build on that. Five, and wide. Three. Opens up a two-point lead. Lee. in a row Three. for the Malaysian for quick points I might add <laughs> yes. 
save those points. Save those smashes, I mean. Another yeah. save from Naroka this time. What a rally this is. It's landed out. Lizzie was waiting. In the corner. Seven. Watching the shuttle. And left it in the end. 33 shots that rally. One of the longer ones of the game. Of the match, I'd say. But more importantly, look at this lead that Lee Zijia has now opened up. He's won five points in a row. 7-3 up. Now Roka has got to work his way back in fairly quickly. Let's see. Big smash. Sub-server. Big down Four. the line, down Seven. the middle. Even smash from Naroka. Look at that jump. Moves his body around. Yeah. Oh. He is the smash king. Sub-server. Back to back power shots in Kodai's direction. It'd be hard to out smash Lee Zijia, I'd Lady. imagine. moment not being able to find the lines Down the line that time. From Silva. Naroka. Nine. As uh, Jar chose to clear the shuttle. Naroka, they must be continuous. They must be continuous. Nine five. Four points separating the two early in this third game. Oh, he's uh, having to work extremely Five. hard for Dinaroka, and uh, as a result, sometimes suffering lapses of concentration, not to mention also trying to manage the drift. Great save from Lee Zijia there as he takes the lead at the mid-game break. Plays it right back from the floor. So he's 11-5 up in this third game. 13 minutes played in the decider. Go to 20 seconds. 
for 220 seconds. Players are caught. So Lee Zijia has built himself a six-point cushion here in the third game. 11, 5. The change ends one final play. time. Shrug it off, hasn't he, Lizzy Jeff? But look at that backhand smash that bowed the crowd. And uh, unfortunately, the follow up wasn't quite as amazing. Deterred by the score line, continues to find his way back, find his way in. racket on it. Just couldn't get enough lift to go across. Get enough height. And you saw Lizzie Jia mix it up well in that point. To go for the slower shot first to set up the smash. Six point lead restored. Court and Lee Zijia having to scramble on that one. 39 shots that rally, longest of the match, but what immense badminton on display. Still a five point lead here, the Malaysian. towards the bench and just take a breather. It's been a Play. physical Play. game. It's been a mental game. And it's still got some way to go. Oi. How smooth was that? Just gliding the shuttle across Lee Zijia. the line judge that has been called in <laughs> it's 
saves it. He's expecting it, Naroka. Ah. He exploits the space on that court so well. 10 14. Kodai Naroka. Red Lizzie just smashed very well to then work out his own winner. Four point game. Battle of the fittest. Disbelief right on the line, almost waiting for the call there. Four points still between the two. And as we edge towards the end of this match, the next few points will be crucial. effort from Lee Zijia, 403 kilometers per hour. I have to say that in my few days here, that I've um, done commentary, that is the fastest smash I've seen on court two. Sure, there are other potential contenders, but that was a big one. He ripped that open, Lee Zijia. Knows how important these points are now. Big difference between 15 12 and 16 11. Pounding that down. Pulls <laughs> one back. Still got four points to make up here. The Japanese shuttler. It point Twelve. by point again with the faster flatter forehand and then the backhand one two punch from Lee and that might prove to be very very costly for Kodai Naroka nice low serve from Lee and 
Naraoka finding the net. 18-12. Samsova, 30, 80. He's got to be patient from the gesturing, I guess. That's what he's telling himself, Naraoka. Again, rushed into that one. And Lizzy Jian now two points away from the semi-final here at the All England Open. A fourth successive semi final. Right. The smash that does the damage as it has 20, throughout match this match. Point, 7 7.7 match points for Lee Zijia here. Performance from Lee, and he will be one step closer to putting his hands on the All England title one more time. So, confirmation of the score there a three game thriller, and Lee Zijia the winner. So with session one done and dusted, it's a confirmation of the results there. I can tell you that Jolly and Pulela through to the semi-finals with a three-game win over the Chinese pair of Li and Liu. And then the world number ones, Zheng Su Wei and Huang Ya Chong, making short work of Kaneko and Matsutomo in their quarterfinal match. Shi Uchi also through to the semi-final in a straight games win as was the reigning All England champion Akane Yamaguchi beating Wang Ji in straight games. And finally, the three-game thriller that saw Li Zijia come out on top against Kodai Naraoka to wrap up this first session on court two. But we've got plenty more badminton coming your way in a couple of hours, uh, starting at 5 p.m. local time. We've got three matches here on court two. And I can tell you that it will be the women's doubles that will get things underway between Japan and uh, China. Zhang and Zheng, the 
finalists from last year will take on two-time world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. That will start court two underway and then we'll have men's doubles and women's singles to follow after that. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage here at Arena Birmingham. We'll see you in a couple of hours. I'm Mosh Dutch in the meantime saying see you later.